Do you understand that you are not guaranteed to deliver a speech in Toastbusters <laughs> <laughs> for the next year, probably, <laughs> with your evaluation? <laughs> and the thing is, uh, Olga hates you for the contents of the evaluation, <laughs> and I like you. But I have problems with the techniques, technical part of your evaluation as well. What do I have? problems with, your tech, with the technical part of your evaluation. Well, both Lera and Sergey evaluated their speakers by batching first positive things, then their recommendations. And that's what I like, because in my personal opinion, it's easier for the speaker to remember both what he or she is doing and what she has to do differently. You went another way by saying, well, I will evaluate you against or rather basing on the objectives. I will approach each objective and we'll see how well you did in each objective, the way I understood you. And the problem with that is that firstly, if you do that, if you do that, you may mix both positive and negative feedback within each objective. First objective, good thing, bad thing. Sec and then the speaker has to sit there and feel that, well, this goes to positive, this goes to it's not very easy. The second thing is I understood and you spent a lot of time, almost all of your time emphasizing that Olga had to be emotional first and foremost. And the recommendations you gave were use better vocal variety eye contact and be more interactive with the audience which are general recommendations Use better vocal writing is not a very specific recommendation. Be more interactive is not a very specific recommendation. You should and would have, could and should have given her specific examples how you would have done that if you got her. But uh, she does hate you, I don't. You can close that. We finished with specific detailed evaluations of the speeches and it's now time for me to take probably 15 to 20 minutes of your time and evaluate, not that much, but and evaluate the meeting more holistically. And let's start with the table topic, master today. And I have to praise you for, for what? Wait a second. There was something good about your table topics. <laughs> Oh, for you to ask him, Daya and Olga to come to the stage, which is a good thing. Newcomers probably and are a little shy, but they you ask them and they came to the stage, which leads me to Daya. Good job for taking the stage and delivering well today. Olga, you did well as well, but I noticed that you probably wanted to take the stage because whenever. Natalia pinned a phrase, you start, well, oh, I know the phrase, and you start translating from your place. So you probably will ask, well, I'm a little shy, but take me to the stage. Unconsciously. <laughs> <laughs> if we started talking about table topic speakers, Mike, you are a man today. Because both Daria and Olga were asked to come to the stage, and you captured the stage. Say, well, I want to take the stage. Good job. Okay. Evgeny, you are a good speaker already. The only thing that is good for me about your table topic performance is that I was the first one and you were somewhere in the middle. So hopefully people will forget about you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was a very nice table topic speech. People, don't, don't listen to me right now. Why was it good? Well, you use, you managed to use word of the day. You managed to use the phrase naturally. And you managed to entertain the audience in the process. Good job. Hate you as a potential competitor. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia, you do understand that there are things that I want to criticize about your evaluation. If you want to demand me to run with you on high heels, we can do that. <laughs> later on. What I think you could and should have done differently. 
in your table topics today. And there are three things. The first thing is, you didn't explain the rules of the game very clearly. And that's the reason why the first three men who took the stage were the men who didn't care about the result. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know I participate anyway. I don't even bother understanding what the rules are. Well, Max is a brave man, Rufan is a brave man too. After the three of us, people were sitting and nobody volunteered. Be clearer about the rules. Probably take the phrase yourself and demonstrate how it's done. The second thing, when we hit the phrase a cat in gloves catches no mice, you grew a little shy on stage. You, you, nobody volunteered and for some reason you started looking nervous. You, you should be more assertive. Well, come to the stage. I don't understand the phrase. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> come to the stage. It's about picking on your feet. I'm, I'm the boss here. The third thing. Too many phrases pinned on the blackboard. I think it would have been better if you, once the phrase is done with, you just take it away and leave the, the phrase that we are currently working on, on the stage. But on the whole, holistically, <laughs> it was nice. Mm. Well, there were people who did something as well and who, in my opinion, have to be evaluated. Ola, the president. By the way, you can congratulate Ola because I believe it's the first time you opened the meeting as the president, right? of the consequences. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Dima, the Toastmaster. Love both your introduction. I already forgot what it was, but it was entertaining. <laughs> and I love the idea because, for example, people probably want to chat with each other during the break before or after the meeting. And you gave them the instrument to do that. Because one can first say, oh, Max, you like trailer, I like trailer too. No, I, I don't know, if, if I was Max, if I was Max, I would probably say I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother talking to me. But it will be easier for people to communicate between each other, good idea. Uh, what, what, what? Another th good thing was when the timer showed us the signals, but it didn't say what the signals meant. You actually helped him by explaining the signals. So on the whole, holistically, good job. Michael, the, what is the instrument you play? Trumpet. trumpet. The trumpet player. Last your perfor not performance, but your introduction as the grammarian word of the day beca because it was structured and it was entertaining. The thing is, you said, well, there is a book I like about marketing. It's my hobby. And then you produced a very long and difficult, complicated definition of the word holistic. I'm not, perhaps I'm the stupidest person in the room. It is possible. But I was sitting there and I lost you in the middle of your definition. So when you give examples, give easy examples for people like me. Yevgeny is the joke master. The guy that I both love and hate. Once again, Good presentation, vocal variety, word choice, body language, everything good. So the thing about joking, I think you don't joke, don't deliver very complex jokes. You deliver four jokes, I believe, and three of them were interconnected. I love the first one about, if you don't laugh, I will cry. <laughs> it was a nice joke. Uh, easy for me, perhaps I'm not very bright. 
comes down from the <laughs> You have to joke for like people like me. Yeah. Well, people are smiling probably. They in the studio complex jokes. <laughs> but you have to think about not very bright general audiences, yeah. right? The former president doesn't agree with me, but we don't care because she's the former president. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, bright? Smart. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 